Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I am Psychic Medium Carrie Muggs and each week I pull a card out of a deck to let you know what is coming up for the week and the signs and symbols to watch for. Um, this week I will be out of the office. I'm going on vacation and so I will still upload a podcast for the week but other than that if you're trying to reach me I probably won't answer because I'm taking a full week off. So um, I'm going to spend my time with my husband for our anniversary. So um, this week's deck is called The Wisdom Oracle by Colette Baron reed As you know, I love Colette Baron reed I don't know if we've used this deck or not. Um, I'm going to try and put it in the links um, in my stories today. It is a beautiful deck. It's got seashells on the front, lots of different cool, cool things inside of it. So um, it's the wisdom of the oracle. So it's always asking for advice or all, it's kind of like wisdom, giving you wisdom. So let's see what the wisdom is this week for us. Okay. Okay. Community. So lots of stuff's been going on. Last week was crazy with the full moon and the blood moon lunar eclipse. Um, so this week, you might need a little bit of community to help you get through it. Sometimes you can't always do things by yourself, especially spiritual growth or spiritual awakening or transformation or transforming. Uh, sometimes you need to tap into your community. So if you have a community, friends, family, people at your work, um, this might be the time to tap into them because sometimes things can get a little chaotic and things can get a little um, over the top or overwhelming or we might be at capacity or things might be going kind of crazy. So, um, this is telling you that you need to tap into your community, whether that be your religious group, your spiritual network, your people at work, your family, whoever that is, there's always a community. And it could also mean your spirit guides and your ancestors. So if you need to tap into them and you need some grounding from them, or you need them to, kind of let you know what's going on. They're always there for you. You are never alone. You always, always, always have your spiritual community. So if you don't have real community around you, you can always tap into your spiritual community because they're always there and ask for them for guidance. And so really rely on your community this this week. Um, spiritual or, or human, whatever. Just really, really know that you can't always do this by, the, by yourself. So some of the signs and symbols to watch for. There's this party flag up here, like a banner party flag. Also, there's a couple birds flying around. Actually, there's three birds and they all look like parrots. There's three parrots around. And there's a mother giraffe and a baby giraffe. So this would symbolize family. This would symbolize guidance and this would symbolize um, um, family and guidance and security. So also this little hut here, that also symbolizes security. So you're safe. Your spirit community always has you be safe. And there's a face on this, which symbolizes spirit actually on the hut. So you can always feel safe. See that face on there? So if you see hay or straw or kind of, lots of people have been telling you they see faces a lot lately. So if you see symbolic like faces on, you know, like if you're looking at paint on the wall and you see faces in it, that could be that what this is. Now, also, there's a lot of clouds, um, but mostly, what is that? Is that a bird or a fish? I think that's a fish right there, to be honest. Is that another? I think that's, no, it's a parrot. There's one, two, three. There's parrots. I need to wear my glasses sometimes. <laughs> and the number is eight, which means abundance. So 888 means lots of abundance which always doesn't have to be monetary. It can be abundance and gratitude in in your support system and your who you have around you that helps you get through things. So really, really know that, um, you know, new, new things of the transformation from last week with the blood moon and the full moon and this week really, um, oh, and there's like little chests, treasure chests right there. So, and I will post a picture of this on my Instagram so you can look at the signs and symbols. Birds, I'm going to go over one more time. Giraffes, birds, treasure chests, party banners, haystacks, and um, there are a lot of leaves going around here. So, any kind of leaves and faces, faces, that's awesome. 
So rely on your community this week and know that you are always safe. Please feel safe. I think this is what this is trying to tell you that that you can always feel safe. You've always you're never alone. You're not. You're never and not in a creepy way, but you are always guided and protected and you're never never alone in this world even though sometimes you might feel like it. You're always being watched over and guided not even just by your guides and spirit and your loved ones, but by God, by by source or whatever you want to call it. Very, very much love and gratitude. So um, just have faith in knowing that you've got someone for you. You've got a community of people. If you don't feel like you do on earth, you do in spirit. So, okay. I hope that is awesome for you guys. I'll post this picture on my Instagram. And I am going to spend the rest of the week in Disneyland. So you guys have fun.